Hello, punks and lovelies. I hope you had a wonderful Easter. My children definitely did. Their cousins came over. We saw some family we haven't seen for a minute. And they had an Easter egg hunt and they got their Easter baskets. Um, everybody brought a lot of food. It was, it was all really wonderful. So I hope yours was wonderful as well. This is going to serve as my beginning of week video as well as my beginning of month video simply because I am really crunched for time between work and school and homework and kids and yada, yada, yada. So I have started Dead House Gates. Oh, that reminds me. Thank you so much for everybody who watched my review of Gardens of the Moon. I was just absolutely floored when I woke up this morning and realized that I had over 71 views for that video. Um, I know that may not seem like a lot, but to me, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. So I started Dead House Gates and it's, uh, well, the beginning was brutal. If you have read the book, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, there's like sawed off heads and bloodthirsty mobs and it was, it was pretty brutal, but I am almost a hundred pages in. I'm really into it and I'm really looking forward to, um, getting on to the rest of the series. As you know, by now I am behind, um, as far as the read along is going for, uh, Mike's book reviews discord channel. I am just barely finished with book one and I should be finished with book two already. And we are going to be starting uh, book three here soon. Actually, we should have already started um, book three. So I am going to catch up on that. And that is essentially my April to do list. My April to read list is dead house gates and memories of ice and if i can get through that then i am doing really good because i also have i did finish my 15 page story for my intro to fiction writing class um i was going to say apparently i work best under pressure but apparently i only work under pressure i can't get anything done in a decent time frame to where i have time to go back and reread what i've written I would like to thank my best friend of uh, 30 plus years, Carol, for helping me kind of just quickly glance over the page, uh, the 15 pages, actually, the 15 page story that I wrote for that class the day that I had to turn it in. But I did get it turned in by that 11.59 p.m. time frame. So I'm good. Um, I would like to go over a couple of um, things. First of all, there is a book called The Fall of a Sparrow by Dan Scannell. Um, this was sent to me in a book deal email today from Black Rose Writing Publishing. Uh, it is free today. I know it is free on at least Amazon. I think it's free on a couple other platforms as well. Um, but it's it's one of those books, you know, in the vein that I like, it's a book about a book. So I, I did download that. I am looking forward to reading that. If I have time this month, I would like to read that one, um, as well as a couple of other books that have been kind of on my radar. If, like I said, if I get done with Memories of Ice, um, then I'll, I'll, I'll knock out a couple more books if I can. Also, I saw that there is a old Soviet version of Lord of the Rings that is available on YouTube. Do I know how to speak Russian or understand Russian? No, I do not. Am I going to watch it? Yes, I am. Um, why? Because allegedly this is one of the only versions with Tom Bombadil. And if you know the Tom Bombadil thing, you know what I'm talking about. So... I have to make an attempt to watch it. I did watch the first couple of minutes of it when I got the email that it was out on YouTube, um, but I was at a store. And so I'm standing there in line at the store watching a Russian version of Lord of the Rings. And if I could ever look more geeky, I don't know what that time would have been. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to get through that uh, hopefully this week and I will let you know how it goes. Um, if I get any ebooks throughout the month, then I'll include those on my various emails throughout the month. But my book haul is going to really be at the end of the month. So for all those hard copy books that I get at Goodwill, Half Price Books, if I order them from Amazon, um, if I happen to get any um, hard copy ARCs, or if I happen to win any car hard copy 
um, book contests on, let's say, Goodreads or something that comes through from Book Riot. Um, I'll have those at the end of the month. Um, but the the Follow the Sparrow is, is one of the ebook ones and that I got. I did get a couple of other ones. I didn't write them down for you. I'm really sorry. I'll have the I'll have that on another video later on this week. I wanted to share um, this t-shirt that John got me. Like he works at a library, and so I know I've mentioned this on one of my previous videos. John doesn't like to read. Um, I know I, I got him to listen to a James Rollins audiobook. He's got another audiobook that he picked up that was free at the library. Um, he hasn't started listening to it yet. I think he picked it up a month or two ago. Um, I know he's read, he's actually read an Anne Rice novel and I think that's it. Like he doesn't like to read. Um, and also if I tell him about what I'm reading, he says, I owe him Popeye's. He says he has to be eating Popeye's to listen to my, um, my rants and raves about books. So I did go over a little bit of Dead House Gates simply because I had to get that horror off my chest. It's been a minute since I've, I've read something that brutal. Um, and so now I owe him Popeyes for that. But anyways, he works at the Delaware County District Library here um, in Ohio. And he brought me home this Tales and Tales t-shirt. It's one of the, the t-shirts that they made. I have other t-shirts that they made last year. Um, they're really cute and I'll show them off as I wear them throughout the, throughout the videos. But, um, he also got me, um, a couple of these, um, imagine your story with the Delaware County library, um, logo on it. Um, water bottles. I know the word. Um, I have two of these colored, and then I have another pink one that I got. Um, but I lost the lid to that one. So, um, oh, it's right here. Not the lid, the pink one. <laughs> the pink one's right here, not the lid. Um, I also, let's see, he also got me. A notebook with the logo on it. Mm, there you go. So I have these. Um, he brings in some really neat stuff from the library every once in a while, and I feel really lucky um, to have him grab that stuff for me because he knows that I love the stuff and I just geek out about it. And so, um, he's, he's wonderful in bringing me, bringing me those home. Um, he had brought me home a button and a keychain, but I'm not sure what they're from. I think they're from a comic series, um, or something. I'm not really terribly into comics. Um, haven't been into comics since I was a child reading my mom's little Lulu and Donald Duck comics. Um, with uh, I think which Hazel was in Little Lulu. Um, that's really all I know about comics. I mean, I know of comics, um, but I, I haven't really gotten into any like adult um, comics or um, like the novels with the with the pictures in them. Um, it's just something I never really got into. Um, I do have to get to class and I'm kind of in between like my work shifts because I, I, I work and then I go to class and then I go back to work. And I also have a previous engagement tonight. I have, a, I have an appointment tonight. So uh, this is going to be a really short video, but um, hopefully it suffices for the beginning of the month's video. Um, again, I hope you all had a beautiful Easter weekend and it's looking like at least where I'm at, it's going to be warm and sunny for most of the week. Hopefully that is the case for you wherever you are as well. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe below and you have a wonderful week.